Black Lessing. Today we're going to talk about numbers 101 all the way up to 3 million. So you'll be able to count any number that anyone gives you in Spanish. For this exercise or for these notes, you need to make sure that you get out a sheet of paper and you need a pen or pencil so that we can write the notes. Here we go. Multiples of 100. We already know that 100 is 100. To form the multiples of 100, we simply start with the numbers 2, 3, 4, etc. So, dos, tres, cuatro, and then add cientos. So, dos cientos, tres cientos, cuatro, cuatro cientos. So, 200, 300, 400. Notice that it's one word. 500, 700, and 900 are the exceptions. We don't say cinco cientos, but rather we say quinientos. For 600, we say 600. For 700, we don't say 700, but rather we say 700. So not 700, but 700. 800, we don't say 900, but rather 900. So not 900, but 900. And then 1,000 is mil. Notice that we simply say 1,000 and not 1,000 in Spanish. So we say mil, not un mil, so just mil. The larger numbers. For 100 is just for 100 alone, 100 even. When you get larger than 100, for 101, 110, 157, you change the 100 to 100. So, 101, 110. Notice that I'm not putting a Y in there. I'm not saying 101 and 110. Or 115. <laughs> the Y is used, however, between the tens and the ones place when there's a digit other than zero in the tens place. For example, 131. In Spanish, they say 130 and 1. So, 131. For 157, 157. So you do use it between the ones and tens place. See if you can write and say the following numbers in Spanish. 248, 591, 888. Pause your computer now and push play when you're finished. If you said 248, you are correct. 591 is 591, and 888 is 888. Muy bien, good job. Let's continue. The multiples of 1,000. The multiples of 1,000 are formed simply by counting numbers 2, 3, 7, etc., and add in mil. Mil is invariable when used for counting. So 1,000 is mil. Remember, we don't say un mil. We just say mil. 2,000 is dos mil. Can you guess what 3,000 is? Tres mil. Seven thousand. Siete mil. Twenty thousand. Veinte mil. One hundred thousand. Cien mil. Five hundred thousand. Quinientos mil. Notice that there is a decimal point with the larger numbers instead of a comma. So where we put a comma after the three, di three zeros, we put a comma. They put a period. With 1,000 as multiples in combination with 100s, we must spell and read the numbers starting with the numbers of thousands and then the numbers of hundreds, since there is no way in Spanish to say 1,400 or 3,500. For example, we don't say, in English we say 1,492. In Spanish, we say 1,492, so 1,492. Here's some practice. 1810, or rather 1810, 2525, or rather 2525, 1789, or rather 1789, 3008. Pause your computer and see if you can write those numbers. All right, welcome back. For 1810, it's 1810. For 2,525, 
2,525. For 1,789, 1,789. And for 2,008, 3,800. Notice I didn't say E8. I just said 3,800. Here's some more practice. 1984, the year I was born. 1,100. 1,111. 2001 and 9,090. Pause your computer and come back to it. All right, let's see how you guys did. 1,984. 1,100. 1,111. 2,001. 9,090. How would you say that we're in year 2013, 2013? You should say 2013. All right, the larger numbers. Let's get into those higher numbers. So if we're wanting to say 999,999 ,999 in Spanish, this is what it would look like. 999,999. As opposed to 1,000, 1 million is expressed with the indefinite article um. So we just say 1,000 in Spanish, you just say mil. But when you get to a million, you have to say un mil or un millón. Not un mil, I'm sorry. So un millón. <laughs> Multiples of 1 million are expressed with the counting number in the plural forms of millones. So once you get higher than 1 million, you have to say dos millones. Dos millones. Once it's plural, it loses its accent. En tres millones. So there you go. That is your lesson for today. See what you can do to go over your notes so that tomorrow you're ready to go with your practice in class. Buena suerte. Adios. Hasta mañana, chicos.